What's good, y'all? Welcome back to a brand new video. So, in today's video, I'm gonna go, I'm finally gonna go tip my windows. As y'all can see, I've been driving in the fishbowl this whole, almost the whole year. I've been driving in the fishbowl, so today's finally the day that I can go get some tent. I was really supposed to go like back in June, like a month after I got it, but I just never had time and then I just never went and did it. Well, finally, I made myself make an appointment. Yeah. So it's currently, I think, 8 a.m., so it's not that early. I'm just waiting for my uh, truck to warm up and for my windows to defrost. So I just made it to the place. You know, I'm in some neighborhood, as you can see. Let's just get outside. Um, I'm in some neighborhood. And, yeah, I texted the dude that I'm here. He said he's finishing up some uh, some windshield, so... It's all good because I got here like 30 minutes early. There was no traffic. I thought it was going to be traffic. So I just dropped off the truck. I, I didn't want to record because it was at this dude's house and I didn't want to put his house on camera. So. But yeah, right now I'm walking to my friend's car. Right there. So we better go get something to eat. Yeah. Oh shit, I don't know why it's over. Alright, y'all. So here my boy Zachary. Say what's up, Zachary. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He scooped me up. He did the generous deed of scooping me up. So we just pulled back up. I think the dude just finished my truck. So I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna show y'all the desk. All right, man, we're walking in some alley. I'm about to see my reaction to the truck. Uh-oh. Damn, that was dark. Check it out. y'all so i just made it back to my house y'all can see i'm back in my neighborhood so i'm about to give y'all a little uh, i'm gonna show y'all what it looks like from the inside so the side back windshields are splattered the back windows are splattered because the tubs keep splashing all the water on it and then side and front i hope y'all couldn't see my street but yeah i went with the regular film because where i'm from um I mean, where I'm from, where I live, there's a lot of cops around. So I feel like I ended up going with 5% back, 5% size, and then 35% windshield. But yeah, as I was saying, um, I went with the regular film because where, um, where I live, there's a lot of cops. So I feel like I'm going to get stopped pretty soon and I'm going to end up taking it off. So if I notice that like I'm not going to get stopped, that I'm not getting stopped and you know I'm, I'm good, then I'll go get ceramic instead. Go, go swap it for ceramic. But for now, this is good. I was riding in a fishbowl, so, you know, it's good to finally get rid of it, have some privacy in my truck. But yeah, I'm gonna give you a little walk around on the outside real quick, and then... Okay, so this is what it looks like on the outside again, a little view, a little, another view from the outside. It's a little bit dirty, so don't mind it. So the front actually came out darker than I thought. I didn't think it was gonna be that dark. You can still see a little bit, but the sides are completely dark. We got Dutch Bros, so and we're gonna try it for the first time. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was gonna be thicker. Bro, it tastes like the fucking McDonald's. It tastes like McDonald's uh, mocha frappe. It's alright. How much was it? I forgot how much it was. I don't know. Nah. <clears throat> Overrated. Snickers, man. Tastes like McDonald's mocha frappe. Yeah, it does. I like the McDonald's mocha frappe. Yeah, I mean, it's alright, but. Yeah. Nothing crazy. Is it overhyped? Yes. <laughs> In conclusion, Dutch Bros is overrated. Alright, so I know y'all can barely see me, but. It is now nighttime. I'm back home after a long day today. So I just wanted to show y'all real quick what the tent looks like at night. So this is with the like with the little light on. Don't turn it off. So I have my I have my cluster on and my screen. So that's that's a little bit of light that's coming through. But here, let me turn the camera around. 
Y'all yeah, can't see anything on the camera, but I can I can see I can see out the back. That's what it looks. That's what it looks like on the sides. I don't know why it looks completely dark on camera. Yeah, let me show you a little view from the outside. Obviously, I got my underglow on, but from the outside, you can't you can't barely see anything. Here. You can maybe maybe see like a little a little bit of reflection off the steering wheel. Nothing from not here. You can see the cluster though. You see all the lights inside. But yeah. And then let me turn off the cluster. Let me turn it off real quick. So let me see without any lights. So this is basically well, like, this is the cluster gonna take a, a little minute to turn off. That's basically with no lights on right there. It's pretty much dark. So that's gonna be that's gonna be the end of this video. Probably gonna post this tomorrow, Sunday. Edit it tomorrow, post it. But yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all in another video. I know in the last clip I said I was gonna end the video there. But today we ended up like something came up unplanned. So we are gonna go have a photo shoot with uh y'all might know a lot of y'all might know him, it's LS6 Media on Instagram. He works with a lot of the like the bigger uh, truck truck people so he put up to dallas and we're gonna go have a photo shoot three of us from the crew me and my brother and one other dude from the crew so right now i'm currently at the car wash waiting since i didn't get to wash it and i can't wash it out in the sun i have to come through the drive through but yeah i'm waiting to, to wash it right now and then i'm gonna get i'm gonna head home real quick clean my wheels clean my, you know, all the chrome in my truck and then we're gonna head there plan on meeting up at 4 30 so yeah i'll update y'all I'm gonna just keep y'all updated. All right, man, you got to see we're over here by the downtown. Got my boy Abe, 62 Abe from the crew. Got the cameraman at the front. My brother in the back. We're about to start taking some rollers. First, it's gonna go ham, so we're, me and my brother is gonna be blocking traffic. So I'll probably try to record a little bit of that since, you know, I'm just be going slow, not really doing much. Hopefully nobody gets mad. Hopefully I don't get pulled over or something. But yeah, I'm gonna... Um, See, they got shooting the first one. My brother here flicking me off. Take this view out. We like right here by downtown. We like right here on the edge of downtown. I'm just going back and forth on this bridge. Not that one. Not not this one, but this little bridge that goes across. I'm just going back and forth on it, taking rollers one at a time. Yeah. Let's see how they go. Let's see how they turn out. All right, man. Sorry, I did my turn. I didn't really. I didn't, I didn't record mine because he was giving me instructions and I had to pay attention, but my brother's up right now. Check this view out though, it's crazy. Yeah, it's my brother's turn and then we're gonna go down, park, take some pictures. But for now, we're done the last one. So we just finished with the photo shoot, I mean with the rollers on the bridge. Right now we're about to, um, the, the LSX media, he said he knows the spot. So we're right here, we're now driving through the downtown following him about to find our spot it's getting a little chilly though i'll show the brother jacket but yeah we're gonna see we're gonna see what's up with this spot so there's a spot when they were coming to they had us crossing red lights and cutting people off and stuff to get here but this view right here crazy i have to take a screenshot of that but yeah i don't know what else we're gonna get into but i'm gonna I'm just keep y'all up there i'm gonna drive back so we basically we basically finished all of our shots me my brother and my boy Ed, but my boy Alan Five Three pulled up and we took some shots together with the with the single cabs and then right now we're about to go help him block traffic with his rollers so yeah I'm gonna just probably I'm probably recording that she got this little downtown sunset so yeah that's what Alan doing his rollers we're just blocking traffic we got a bus behind us and a few cars not a major though probably gonna be better and call us assholes but yeah what it is but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down and just keep folks fucking three lanes I know the boy behind us mad as hell man you didn't beep that ain't you
stuff.